concerned about people. And I think you can't look at an um, issue and say it's a black issue and isolate it from the broader spectrum of what's going on in our community. You can't separate race from everything that's happened. It's, it's endemic and better than better history. And so some people get upset off by the idea, oh, you're always saying black, you're always talking about race. That's what America is all about. Right. Black people built this country. Black people's free labor for 400 years uh, built this country. Black folks built the White House. Black folks built all the things around the Capitol. So you can't get around it. Now people that have benefited from that wealth, maybe they it's generational, maybe they weren't directly involved, but their ancestors benefited from the, the, the labor of black people. They don't want to talk about it anymore, but that's too bad. And I think Cliff was that constant reminder, and he did it in an excellent and professional way, but he constantly reminded black folks and other people about our contributions. That's why he went on that history tour they talked about yesterday. Right. Right. He went around all the sites in the state of Michigan uh, that were historic black sites, uh, and that's, that's Michigan history. You know, but, but there, there, there's also this aspect of holding black political leadership accountable, and, you know, I, I witnessed the, the work that you did with Cliff at American Black Journal, the Trump Public TV, and you know, we, we repeat it. And, and I kept saying, uh, I mentioned American Black Journal because we're giving it more promo than it deserves, but I think your era, uh, when you anchored, when you produced that show, uh, you guys were not afraid. And I was there, and I saw how successive administrations at City Hall were very upset with American Black Journal coming out on Sunday because you always put the administration or city leaders on notice. Well, I think that was the responsibility. And actually, I don't take credit for that. That's uh, people like uh, Ed Gordon and, and uh, Tony Brown. And, you know, going back before me, did that, that was tradition, the tradition of Black Journal. And, I, you know, I always joke and say protest TV. Right. But if black folks aren't protesting, I don't know what we're doing. We're wasting our time. And so, yeah, I think black political leadership has been a conundrum for a lot of black people and black journalists in uh, today's society. But the fact is, we have to hold African-American leaders just as accountable as we do anybody else, and maybe even more so. And I think if there's any failing of our community, we've let too many people get away with too much without holding them accountable. But we, I think at Black Journal, I think we, I feel like this, if you're not kissing somebody off every Sunday by telling the truth, you're not doing your job. And I think that's 